So rural employment. Two graphs here, the one on the left. Um, you can kind of see um, kind of starting on January to 2019. Um, this is unemployment rate, the percentage, this column right here, this axis right here. You know, so the blue line is the non-metro demographic. So if you look at that blue, it was just hovering just under 6% in 19, January of 19. And it was it, it maintained that up until like March, uh, February, March of 2020. And then spiked. And then there was a decline um, around March. And then a decline kind of went around September and then kind of dipped a little bit and a little bit of increase up until 21. Um, then, yeah, so that spike is, on, is where we have like COVID. These are the COVID numbers here. The, the blue the blue bars are non-metro. Um, so you can see where the confirmed cases um, per 100,000 residents here. And you can you can see how like this plays a role like in, in the employment as well. And, and I bring this up because one, we need to, we need to talking about, you know, as organizers and it's difficult for some of us. Oh, how do we organize and activate in a pandemic? And some of us are still having that conversation of what best practices are and, and what have you. And, you know, how we can, we need to be keep fighting this pandemic. At the same time, uh, I mean, yes, rural folks are, are, are hurt for employment. Working class folks are being hurt. The lack of a living wage, the lack of safe work conditions, you know. Um, so when we think about this from a union organizing perspective, from just fighting for economic democracy, perspective what do we need to be doing when we have these kind of numbers and these kind of figures 